Good evening, YouTube. General Soul back. I don't know how many of you remembered the closer picture that we had that ended up getting the had to be stopped because save got uh, corrupted. But uh, why don't we do another closer? Last time we did a breaking ball pitcher. Mm, we could do that again. He's a closer. Okay, everything's going to be determined by random. So I've got a random number generator. So the way this is going to work is there's 113 uh, pages here. <coughs> random number generator is going to pick a page. And then I've got to pick a name that I like. 80. Marco. For last name, we got two eleven seventy four. And sorry if I sound a little uh, off. Supposedly I have COVID. I've tested positive, but I've really had no symptoms. So if I sound off, maybe they're starting and I'm not noticing. Marco Fuentes. <clears throat> Wonder if he's any relation to Daisy. Well, she kind of fell off the planet, didn't she? All right, number. <clears throat> we'll do one to a hundred. Hundred is zero. Random number generator landed right on 24, so he stays with what he's got. All right. One and two for lefty or righty pitching. Left or right, number one is left, number two is right. He's a righty. <clears throat> Batting doesn't matter, he's not gonna be able to bat. Region, we have four regions to pick from. Three, so this is one, two, three. So he is from America. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, eighteen. <clears throat> two. He's from Georgia. We're gonna randomize his appearance until I find something I like. Okay. Looks might tweak a little bit. <clears throat> kind of hairs. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I randomized him. Damn it. Okay. Hair. Uh, we're going to change that hair color. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I like that. Never mind. Um, Hairstyle. Okay, 10 pages. Five. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm fine with this. Can't really work on equipment until we get started. <clears throat> Animations. We're going to do generic players. We have 22 pages. Page six. I'm looking at seventy four so far. Maybe seventy six. Running style doesn't matter. All this doesn't matter. Music. I'll say that didn't sound like metal. <laughs> All right, start our career. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> I'm going to do this just to get some more gains. Uh, I've also got a randomized wheel for teams. And it's going to have to be a team that needs a closer. <clears throat> so when we get to there, we will spin. In fact, I just spun it just to see, and it wants me to go to the Dodgers. I think they're good. <laughs> yeah, the Braves are good, too. <laughs> I'm not sure if they get into closer. If you want to watch that, you can see the uh, Padre center fielder. Welcome to day one of the MLB draft combine. We're gonna skip all this. Okay, sinker ball. Oh, I gotta get used to this. Well, we're down to the pitchers now, Sarah. And uh, the variety of things scouts are looking for when they look at pitcher. They're looking at, you know, how well their body works over the rubber. I talk about balance, rhythm, and timing within their delivery. They're certainly looking at arm strength. They're gonna measure spin, horizontal movement. But you really gonna look at command. I mean, where the catcher's set up, can you throw the ball to that spot? you know, within the strike zone or outside the strike zone, and can you do that with multiple pitches? As you said, are there a handful of things that will be measured here? Of course, the velocity. You mentioned spin rate. Something else clubs take a look at is the active spin. That's what percentage of that spin rate actually contributes to a movement, as opposed to just spinning, but not changing the way the ball is actually moving. And so that's why deliveries are so important. Every one of those metrics, Sarah, is tied to your ability Circle change to is going to make me shit. Unique body type. And that's why you can get a lot out of these bullpen sessions by bearing down on a pitcher's delivery.
Burby. Above average. You know, I'm a big believer in looking at hand speed and arm speed, and this young man has both of that. Tremendous feel and spin on his breaking ball, something you really can't teach. Command and control was a little bit spotty, but athleticism and pure arm strength, he goes near the top of the board. I'd be open to the uh, White Sox and the Royals here. <clears throat> but like I said, I need a team that needs a closer. Because otherwise, I'll probably be traded. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. But uh, the New York Mets have a closer. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fix our pitches now. We've already done some with... Uh... All right, so breaking control. So... Velocity, control, break. All right, so... We want a curveball. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's do a slurve. You know, I want a splitter instead. And I like to basically run three pitches on my closer. So now equipment. No, I don't need that. I need this. Okay. <clears throat> Being a closer, I probably want this for the pitching clutch. Cleats. Pitching clutch again. It doesn't matter either way. I honestly don't know if any of this works with a closer, with a pitcher at all. I don't know. I'm not sure the duration, probably, or the durability, probably. But I'm not sure if arm and accuracy. I think that's just fielding. But we'll put one on. Uh, I wear... Did you get it, Zoe? She's been having a time. There have been flies all in this house. She is having so much fun catching them. Okay, the only thing I really have for a pitcher would be this. Socks are for a, uh, stealing bases, so... <clears throat> Alright, no turtleneck. Let's give him a necklace. Let's give him a thick one that is gold. Uh, ba, 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 ba. okay. Glove style. We'll just have a dark brown glove up until we get drafted, and then we'll see what we'll do from there. <laughs> Thought I had a wristband on. Oh, it's a wrist guard. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on the left. No sleeves. Compression. I honestly don't know if that's going to help him or not. Let's keep it on the left right now. <clears throat> and cleats. These cleats, unfortunately, we cannot customize. At all. I wear... Again, we'll fix those up when we get a team. Okay. I don't think we got anything. Nope, they still got the Father's Day stuff. Oh, Fourth of July. <clears throat> if they go by the usual pattern, everything is like standard stats. It's just different skins. A lot of bats. And some new socks. I may put those on my batter. A lot of stuff out of that, though. Nice. Eh, I need to get rid of those because that'll just drive me nuts. Oh, yeah, we got the Father's Day socks last time. Armed forces. All right. <clears throat> so we are at 67 overall. Okay, since we are a closer, we're probably going to pitch an inning of each game. If you're just joining us, we've got nobody out here in the fifth inning. <laughs> My team has been decided. We will be picking our team, not letting it go random. And Brad, when you watch this, you're going to love this. That's in there. Oh, and one. That's not a pitch you want to swing at early in the count. Most likely, you'll just roll over it. If you have two strikes on you, that's different, of course. Swing and a miss out front that time. No ball, Lens cow on at first with nobody out. Swings and misses. One gone. At the plate, Victor Castaneda. Yeah, you are going to love this. Brad, when you see who I'm drafted by. Makes the catch. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a I'm a closer anyway. I came in in the middle of the inning. I never even noticed that we had someone on base. The right fielder, Ramirez. So I may pitch two or three innings, but I'm not gonna pitch much more. One's in there. No balls, two strikes. Not sure he was ready to hit. Took the first two pitches for strikes. Time for but him I, to battle now. I definitely agree with the announcer. This batter has now no balls. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the end of the inning. So one hit is all they get. And we're through five innings. Two to nothing. Alright. Now the yep, of the I'm already sixth, out. <laughs> and there's a new pitcher on the mountain, Eric Nicholas. All right. <laughs> it, the team's already been decided, but I will say it is one of these teams. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, Zoe. Wow. So like I said, I'm doing these games mostly for the gains. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Back here in the desert. And now the center fielder, Keaton McCall. We're going for a save. And there's a strike. Oh, and one. All right, the Tigers, kid, you got this. See it, drive it like you can. Here we go. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. And a swing and a miss. One out. Damn, that slurve is nasty. Sharp three pitch strikeout really sets a tone, and the opposing lineup is going to have a hard time keeping him from the save. Yeah, so when is MLB the show going to add the splinker? Now at the plate. He swings and fouls one off. That should probably be a little more down. It is a sinker, after all. A one-run lead. We're in the bottom of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Rounder to third. McKay. Zips it across. Two down. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> real, real. Here, bottom of the ninth, down to their last out. Now it's the shortstop, Dante Hall. Hey, two down. Breaking ball in there for Ooh, a strike. Ooh, got that corner. I don't know about the splitter being that high up. And it's one and one. <clears throat> That Damn one it. Is absolutely pummeled. This one has a chance. The catch is made to end it. Good job. That's an incredible catch and an incredible end to this game. That was a good catch. That saved me. Again, it's already been decided. It is one of these teams. So... More than likely, I will pitch an inning at the last game. And then we will get picked by our team. Are you trying to eat that? It's crumbs. Mostly pepper. You're not going to like that. Up flips over. Next to hit, Harold Mackey. And he's got good speed at a position you don't typically associate with that. Mm, it's usually first more of a second. slugger who might plod a little bit. He's something of an outlier here. That misses the zone. Ball one. That kind of speed at this spot can be a real asset, of course. Players like Jason Kendall and Sean Figgins made their teams more multi-dimensional because they could really scoot. And it's two and one. Honestly, if they absolutely had to, I don't think they'd hesitate to throw him out there at a position that demands a little more range than this. His natural athletic ability can carry him a long way. Ooh, you just barely got a piece of that one. 2-2 two, two now. Bounces it to the left side. Double play. Stops it on a slide. Goes to second, safe there. You fucking idiot shortstop. I had the perfect double play. You couldn't get anybody out. One down. 
now it's the second base oh. Larry Montez. He's already homered in this ball game. I, don't want them. I did my job. There's a strike. That's a great approach with the bases loaded. He did well to get a strike and get ahead in the count. On the ground to second might be There's two. the double play. The throw to second. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Two left on. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Eleven to six. I may pitch the last inning for the save. We'll see. Back yep. here at Chase Field. All set to start the ninth inning in this one. Digging in, Peter Yapu. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. Hey, let him fly up there, Hulk. Swing and a foul straight back. Just outside. <laughs> and that's ball one. Nice take. It was a nice take, because that was supposed to give him to chase. Got like it. that. And a strikeout. That's out number one here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Now it's the right fielder, Andres Mendoza. Fastball for a strike. One down. One down. Right here. Let's go, bud. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two straight pitches down in the zone to get ahead. Now he can attack the rest of this AB in a lot of ways. Got like that. The batter swinging. <laughs> they are down to their final out. And now the first baseman, Peter Perry. Nice try. Ooh. On the ground to first. Steps on the bag. That's okay. game. <sighs> like I said, it's one of these teams. A lot of these teams I would not mind. If I was doing completely random, well, I did with the wheel, but if I was doing completely random, then the game decide. The only two teams I really don't want to play for is the Phillies and the Nationals. And I would prefer not to play for the Rockies again. But a lot of these teams I would be open to. But it's been determined by the wheel. And Brad, when you watch this, you're going to love this. Uh, feeling good after the combine. Between rounds two and five. I don't know about first overall. I don't know of any closer that's gone first overall. Cool, that sounds great. Uh, yep, I'm going to be a star. Okay, so we're going to choose our team. The wheel has chosen. It's not going to be the Mets. It did try to get me to go Braves, but Braves have a closer. Uh, let's see, who all have they? They tried to get me to go Cubs. They have a closer. Uh, I tried to get me to go Pittsburgh, and I thought about it, but I was like, I think they have a closer. It wanted me to go Diamondbacks. They have a closer. They wanted me to go Dodgers. They had a closer. Uh, let's see. They wanted me to go Rays. They have a closer. They wanted me to go uh, Blue Jays. 
Maybe I could have gone Blue Jays. I thought they had a closer. They wanted me to go Guardians. They have a closer. But it ended up being the Detroit Tigers. Funny story. Detroit Tigers, if I, if not for my best friend at the time, was going to be the team that I followed simply because I liked Tigers were my favorite animal. But I had no way of ever watching a Tigers game unless they were on, like, ESPN or something. So I would have never known anything about the Tigers. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen this guy. With the 19th pick of the fourth round, the Detroit okay. Tigers select Marco Fuentes, a closing pitcher from the East Region. That's right. We are now a Detroit Tiger. I have played for the Tigers before in 22. I was a starting pitcher for them. So this is not my first time with the Tigers ever. How do I feel? Hey, I'm going to be the greatest closing pitcher of the Tigers of all time. I'm, I'm good. I was selected early. Fourth round. Yep, I played for the Sea Wolves before. I know all about the Sea Wolves. Appreciate you, Steph. Hey, Coach. Or Skip. Hell yeah. You got it. All right, let's take a look at our team. Well, first off, let's fix our colors. Detroit Tigers. They are orange, black, and white. <clears throat> so, our glove needs to reflect that. Orange. Laces can be black. Trim can be white. fix our cleats, but we can fix our eyewear. Frame color, orange, oh, nope, we want to save that. We can't, like I said, we can't change our cleats. All right, let's take a look at the team we're on. Roster. All right. So our best player is Tariq Skubal. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I don't know much about the the current modern day Tigers. So, but that's our best pitch. That's our best player. He's a star, he, so he's our ace. Uh, our best reliever is Shelby Miller, who's a seventy-seven overall. Our closer is Alex Langs, who's a 76. 
So that means I need to get up to at least a 78 to be worth being the closer in my mind. All right, let's take a look at if I were managing general manager, what would I be looking for? Okay, so we've got a possibility with Jack Flurry. Casey Mize, I'd be watching him. I would like him to be younger. Uh, okay. Kenta Maeda. He's getting up there in age. Eight years. He's got a few more years. Pitching-wise, I think we just need to develop some of these young guys. I think we're good. Pitching-wise, for the future, watch them, but I think we're going to be good. Relievers. We have some elderly relievers, but we also have some young guys that coming up. So closer well i'm going to be taking that spot so we're going to be good there catcher you have the potential to be a b you played three years you're getting close to the b so maybe maybe we're good if if nothing else we have this young guy that's a few years younger that's also potentially a b he's going to be my catcher actually We'll watch, we'll watch the catcher. First base. Okay. Young guy has very good potential. So let's keep an eye on Torkelson. Second base. Again, I think this, so far, I think this team has potential. We just need to build them up. We got a lot of young guys that have big potential. Third base. As of right now, I'm looking at, at building Jace Jung up. I would probably probably trade deadline. I would trade Zach McKinsey and move Jace Jung up. Short stop. We have Javi Baez. Uh, Okay, shortstop something we need to work on. So I'd probably trade for a shortstop. Left fielder. Oh, Mark. I can't get away from Marcana. He was on the Mets before. Isn't Matt Verling current? Is, Matt, is it Matt Verling that's on the Mets right now? Uh, we might need a left fielder, too. Well, we got this guy that's got potential. We need to build him up. All right. Okay, we got a rookie. But we also have this guy to really watch out for. And he's already just as good as the rookie. Hmm. You might not be with... You might end up getting traded if Max Clark gets better. All right. Okay, we have two young right fielders. I don't know why we're keeping both... Yeah, I would be looking at Riley Green and maybe trade him for someone. <clears throat> All right. All right, top prospects. I know I'm not in the top 100 yet. Cole Keith is the number one prospect. I am number three on the Tigers. Okay. For closing pitchers, I am the number one ranked closing pitcher. So we've got that potential. How much time we got? We could do a couple of games. We could do a series or two depending on how many games we play. We're not even going to fucking play in the first series. <laughs> uh, let's get that break on that splitter. And then we're winning, but we're winning so much. I, I haven't even pitched yet. 
That's two series done. I haven't even pitched yet. Let's go that splitter break again. I'm finally making my debut against the Rubber Ducks. <laughs> oh, shit. So that's what, six, seven, eight, nine games we didn't play in. Is made, and it looks like we'll be seeing a double A debut here in relief. I'm warm. We're back here at the ballpark. Last chance for the home team. And now the DH, PD Halpin. And he's got really good wheels. One of those skills you really can't teach. Swing and a rocket. He hit that one. And that one hops the wall. Around second now, going for third. And the time runs aboard with a leadoff triple. Damn. Pressure My first pitch, and he's just like, I got it. The dish to come through. This next at bat looms very large. <laughs> that is not the way I wanted to make my debut. <laughs> Shit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. And now the first baseman, Joe Naranjo. Good eye on that pitch. <clears throat> okay. The tying run just 90 feet away. I don't want to be that high up. Next one's fouled back. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Hot shot to third. That makes him stay at third. And there's one down. Now Number 25. That's what I want. I wanted He's him to stay at third. Away. Here's the catcher, Ralphie Velasquez. Good opportunity to pick okay. up your teammate and deliver. It clips the corner. I'm going to be throwing a little bit lower than you want. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Not sure I like that location. Pitcher might be better off busting him in on the hand so he can't extend and drive. T one. Tell the fucking and catcher that. Inside. And that's a strikeout looking. Only one out remaining. Digging in, the switch hitting outfielder, Jason Churio, trying to deliver as the hero. Number nine hitter here, trying to get on base, set the table for the top of the lineup, and give them a chance at staying alive in this one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Here in the bottom of the ninth, and the home team is trying to rally and at least tie this one up. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. I don't know about a splitter being that high. Right side, and this might do it. Steps on the bat, ball game. Okay, first save. He records his very first save in professional baseball, and I have a feeling there are a lot more of those to Whew. come. That was not pretty. <laughs> one inning pitched, one hit, one K. All right, let's see if we play any more. Yeah, that triple was not the way I wanted to be introduced myself. Now Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth inning. All right, we're. And here's the first baseman, Joe Naranjo. The first baseman. Same guys we we uh, got out last time. All right, three run lead. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 1. Fuentes measures 6 foot 4, 220 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. The 0 1. Oh, God. Why does every first batter have to get a hit on me? Nice job to knock that one back up the middle for a base hit. 
That's exactly the kind of approach prospect evaluators like to see. Runner at first. Now the left fielder, Jason Churio. Breaking ball in there for a strike. They're running out of opportunities in this one, so with the leadoff man aboard, they need to make sure they capitalize on this chance. And a big swing and a miss. You ain't hitting that slur. Rubber ducks trailing by three here in the last half of the night. Double play ball to second. That's exactly second what I wanted. And two in time to first for the double play. Now that double Catcher. play is massive for them. And now the closer just has one guy left to get for the save. It's their last chance of the ball game. And here's the catcher, Joe Donovan. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strike. And there's a strike. Strike. All right. Yeah, you were the... Um, two mm. down and nobody aboard. We're in the bottom of the ninth The last inning. out last time, too, weren't you? They're down to their final strike of the game. I told you, you're not hitting that slurp. He's keeping these batters on their toes. Swings and misses, and that's the ball game. Fuentes, with a good relief effort to help lock down the victory, hitched a clean inning for the save. Evaluators always like to see relievers come out and take care of business. He did exactly that, and they got the win. Pretty much exact same stats. One inning pitch, one hit given up, 1K. <laughs> But we got the save. Are we pitching anymore? The final line score for our ball game for the victorious season. Three runs. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. We're warm. At the plate. Oh, we got a challenge. One for three. The third baseman. Three up. Let's go for control. No wild pitches. Fouled off. He was late. Swings through that one. Higher than I wanted, but he swung and missed. just misses the inside corner and the count is one and two Cut on and gotcha That's a strikeout. we head back to the top of the lineup here's the center fielder Jake Fox all right first time that seeing these guys what the fuck just happened I can't move and there's a breaking ball that drops in. For some reason, it just decided, ah, no, nope, you screwed it up too much. You can't do it. Strike two. One down. Base is empty here in the ninth. Back and a miss. That's a strikeout. So digging in, Jason Churio. He's already homered in this ball game. Haven't we faced him already? Moved him up, huh? Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Whoops. Close one, but that was a strike. Call. That was a strike. Down and nobody aboard here in the last half of the ninth. They're down to their final strike. Are you sure? That was just the other side. Got it. That'll end the evening's action. Fuentes had a strong showing in relief in the win. Earned the save with three strikeouts. Love to see relievers come out and shut things down the way he did in this one. 
definitely a nice piece of the win. Yeah, three strikeouts on three batters up. That's pretty good. Are we going to play any more of the series? The final line score for our ball game. We played three. Are we going to play any of the other three? Yes. To those of you joining us now, Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. And here at the plate, Ralphie Velasquez. 0 for 3. Bottom of the order again. Three times. Ooh. That score. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Up the middle. And it's through for a hit. All right. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And he's just given them a big lift. They've got an outside shot at coming back now. No, they don't. Dion Frias now at the plate. One for three. That one finds the corner. With the leadoff hitter aboard, the pitcher is looking to cut down that threat. Maybe a ground ball can help them get him off the bases. Maybe even a double play. The Rubber Ducks trailing by three. We're in the bottom of the ninth inning. And it goes just foul. Ground ball to third base. Thank you. And handles that one. Swings to second. They get the double play, and now just one out to go. That double play is massive for them. And now the closer just has one guy left to get for the save. So down to their final out of this one. Here's the left I, Okay, I see where you want it. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Ball one, too low. They're down to their final strike of the game. Okay, splitter again. The rubber ducks down to their last strike. Swings and misses, and that's the ball game. Quintes put together a strong outing in relief to help them to the victory. Didn't we got one more game possible. He was steady enough and gave them a chance to win. Can't ask for much more than that. The final line score for our ball game for the Victoria Seagulls. All right, that is. We played our first four games, and we got four saves. Not bad. Just can't believe we went seven games before we got to play. All right, we just got something. Equipment pack. Only thing I don't have is this bat. That make that should make sure. Yep. Now you were telling me that I did something with this. Okay. Didn't I also get a challenge? I should have had two equipment packs. No, I got program stars. Never mind. <clears throat> All right. How much time we got left? Yeah, this is gonna be it. All right. Take a look at that calendar. Let's do our training at least. Let's work on that break. <laughs> All right, so we got Harrisburg next. If you've enjoyed the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for more. If you feel like donating to the clock cause, there is a link in the description to buy me a coffee. Not required, but any donations are appreciated. And I will see you guys next time.